Now, Augustine and his wife are watching recent videos of him in the gym, lifting weights and working out his legs. I've gained back 20 since being home here. But this was him, a Norfolk police chaplain, several months ago in a hospital bed at VCU. On the body, I had to go through camp, uh, chemo, two chemotherapies uh, and uh, a radiation treatment. And his last option was a transplant from his son, Joe Augustine Jr., an officer with the department. But uh, I feel alive. Thanks to the love, support, and donations from the community, they were able to raise more than $16,000 for his care. But doing very, very well. And I'm very, very thankful for everybody who, uh, who was concerned about my condition, everybody who prayed and supported. And now he wants to use his story to encourage others in the community who may be going through similar situations, especially for one officer with the Norfolk Police Department, Officer Nick Johnson, who is currently fighting cancer again for the second time. Don't want it to be a lonely road uh, for Nick at all. So uh, I'm, all, I'm all in to help him do whatever I can. Friends of Nick's in the police department are hosting a fundraiser for Nick this weekend at O'Connor's Brewing Company. After being in remission for two years, Nick's blood cancer made a return. It's hard uh, when you know you have people supporting you that uh, are standing with you. It makes it much uh, easier in the sense that you know you're not alone. He wants Nick to know that it's going to be okay. Don't get anxious. Take one day at a time. Uh, you know, pray. And have some words for the community. Life is, life is important, but we get busy running around like a dog chasing our own tail sometimes. It ain't worth it. In Norfolk, Nana St. Bonsu, News 3.